Hello everyone, the here for the Hammer Games channel. Welcome back to the Thursday Week Reich and to my Sardom of Bulgaria playthrough. When the last episode, I can't exactly remember what we did. Um, ah, the new constitution, that is what we did. Uh, we're getting close to being able to do the election, which I'm hoping is going to open up a lot more stuff for us, because right now we don't really have a lot to do. So we can allow certain parties or new and improved oblasts. Grant autonomy to Macedonia. Need for the partisan group. Okay, socialist question that will be interesting to do, but anyways. Though we're still much worried about the extremist elements to restore democracy and normal political life, we allow the reformation of all political parties that were destroyed during the Lukov dictatorship. Bulgaria will once again be a nation of many parties to serve the people. So, I'm not too sure if we're going to have any wars, really? Like, any time where we're going to be expanding? I forgot Bormans here. The German females. Oh. And you are getting invaded now. It looks like uh, you're not going to win. The Swiss will get their independence. And uh, the emergency of their status definitely going to go bye-bye. And -bye. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if Manstein ended up getting uh, kicked out. And that's still raging on, which is cool. I mean, that's probably going to end up dying at some point. And I hate how Bosnia is here. And I prefer it, it would have been better if they actually had control of um, Herzegovina. So Bosnia and Herzegovina, you know. But oh well. Ah, Croatia's actually with you. Croatia resistance, end of monstrosity. Legitimacy. The end of Horthys. His family were escorted to a, per a square in Budapest, placed before a kangaroo court, and were sentenced to be shot. Wow. Yep, that is definitely the fascist thing to do there. Damn. We're just living life. We still have the Crisis of 52, which I'm hoping we're going to be able to get rid of soon. Push of the Balkans. Yeah, pressure the Balkans, but we're not exactly going to get up too much. We do have claims on Central Macedonia. So, maybe a war against Greece? Maybe a war against Albania? And possibly Turkey? Maybe? I wouldn't mind invading Turkey. We have the ASALA presence. The Armenian Secret Army of Liberation of Armenia. Armenian Secret, Secret Army for the Liberation of Armenia. Seems a bit long-winded, their name. That's... That's why it's got an abbreviation then, you idiot. The old fascist regime tried to Bulgarianize the non-Bulgarian populations in the new territories of Macedonia. With heavy hand, armed partisans rose up against us, leading to continued violence in that region. The, this pointless fight must come to an end. We will meet with the partisans, offer concessions of recognition of their autonomy, and end the war in the West once and for all. Yeah, so let's get rid of our Macedonian unrest. Which we don't have. <laughs> it's Macedonian Greek unrest that we want to get rid of. So I'm sure Nikola Mikov, Mikov is going to disappear at some point. Polish democracy restored. Influence of the old Tsars, influence of the old Tsars. Okay, be once more. Okay, engineer can get two then. What about fighters? Yeah, let's actually get jet engines and get some better fighters. I know we don't exactly have a military industry anyways. Let's try and see if there's any other lands that we have claimed. Yeah, you are. Goodbye, Heinrich and Hanspiedel's here now. Are you going to be doing anything? They have done, they stand alone. Come on, you do this and then you can start killing everyone. Which is good. The, well, broken after the war. Aggressive diplomacy. That'll hopefully work in the Soviets' favour. So will have in the Socialist Republic of uh, Belarus, Russia there. And if the Moscow Red Army actually wins for once, which is actually. 18. They might actually win it. They're, they've got a decent wee. If only they were gone. And they only have a couple of divisions, so you just leave a couple of divisions up there. 
the cell, just don't push that. Yeah, Heinrich's about to be put down. I can't remember what Borman actually gets up to. Council victory? Who the hell is that council? Because that's Himmler. Spoon Gobels, Borman, Fairmark Tree, Twin Votarines. Who the fuck is the council? Who is the council? Ah, there we go, the Swiss have got their got their independence. Although they don't have all their territory. The Italians have some of it. Well they have a piece of it. Was this the um, was this the playthrough where Africa blew up? Yeah, yeah it did. So the free French are <laughs> nowhere to be seen. It's just the French state now. Right, we met with the partisan groups. Let's go ahead and do new and improved oblasts, as well as constitutional political changes. Our new government should make changes to the local administration too. The oblasts of Bulgaria will be redrawn to match this modern population. Uh, the modern population allow for more effective local administration. Fantastic! We're going to be back in the positive PP. Greek Democratic Republic. Really? Council of Communism is ideology that is characterized by its opposition to state socialism. Is it? Advocacy of worker councils and Soviet democracy as the basis of dismantling the class state. Okay, and there goes um, Heinrich. So it's literally just you holding on. And obviously, the Americans have not thought about the Sino American Naval Treaty Agreement. We have that as well. You're going to disappear though. Like the Vietnam War, yeah, the, the Vietnam War ain't going well for China at all. They've got Hanoi. That's pretty much all we can really say is good for them. Does China have a navy? Yeah. Why the hell would you not go ahead and try and land Saigon? Up oh, the Angolan War, or like land? Yeah, saying that. Excuse my phone. That. There, there is only one port to land in, so they're probably going to be garrison it. But you just land a whole batch of guys still there. Let's see what these guys are up to. Yeah, Konev has got troops out and about helping. I think Greece might even invade me, depending on what happens with the end of this war. Three the fifteen against three the seven. You'd like to think they'll end up winning the uh, the Hel Hellenic state. Wow, they haven't capitulated. <laughs> they have that tiny little bit. Anyways, the socialist question. As all can see, Bulgaria's experience with radical ideologies has, in recent times, let's actually just read that while it's progressing. Um, as a result, many are left uh, are proposing that the radical left consistent with socialists, even communists, should be barred from elections just as far right as this would likely assuage the fears of many of some conservative members of our coalition. But at the same time, we lo lose legitimacy and democratic potentials the more we restrict the freedom to participate in elections. I assume one way or another will have to be made before the election comes. And the German Civil War is over, and the North Sea naval exercises, which is a good way of telling us that the Americans are doing a certain route on their tree if we hop in here and we uh, jump down here they done this so the great crusade is well and truly able to be done the Swiss German compromise ah they can't do that anymore they missed a chance wait Lichtenstein restored Swiss are founding of a kingdom. Oh my days! Italy's just declared war on Turkey and Bosnia. Good for them. What decisions do we have? Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't really need that. 
I don't need any of that. Oh, upgrade the forts. Yeah, Bosnia fell very quickly, but that was to be expected. Let's get fighter one. Why did why did you run? Oh, thank heavens for that. I don't think Turkey will be able to to stability. Right, anyway, it's a socialist question. Even though we just let a few parties run in the first election of our young uh, democracy, one thing is still unclear. Should we allow socialists and the communist parties for it? It might be good for our international reputation to allow them, but it also mean harm to our young democracy. Let's allow the socialists to run. Not the communists, but let the socialists. Grand autonomy to Macedonia. Following our negotiation with the Macedonian rebels, we have come to the agreement uh, that fighting will end in Macedonia if we grant autonomy within the country. Then the violence, we will accept these proposals. Good. And that'll be our, well, I was going to say, our last negative national spirit gone, but no, no, it won't. Do I want to make defensive? Let's just upgrade some fortifications. Why, why the hell not? It's there to be done. Oh, I should probably actually hop up to War Economy as soon as... Wait, can I hop up to War Economy? Yes. Ah, because we're the Loyalists. Ah, so we're allowed to. Shame I've not got enough PP for that. I feel like as soon as we do the election, that's going to kind of change... Yeah, change the government type. So now at least if I get a partial mobilization, we're doing exactly tons of... Of these anyways. China withdraws from Vietnam. Which means goodbye, Chiang Kai shek. You're going to be put under house arrest very, very soon. Yeah, the Moscow Red Army is getting probably pretty close to killing off the yeah, Adrenalissimo and house arrest. If they can get to Moscow, take over. Uh, oh, they took it. Oh, why was Moscow not the capital? They should be good as soon as they take the free Russian movement out. They're the biggest problem in there, so. Good luck to them. I kind of want to be able to invade Albania before um, the Italians get the chance to, because fighting the Italians would probably be a bloody death sentence. Especially if they got the hands of Greece and Albania. Assassination attempt on who? Oh, Chang, while well, under house rate, Chiang Kai-shek is allowed to move freely around Nanjing for leisure activities. However, Chang's motor cage was targeted by a car bomb. Chang was unharmed due to unfortunate timing when the car bomb detonated. Right, it's time for the election. The time has come for the first election in Bulgaria since the fascist takeover. For the first time in recent memory, the people will decide the future direction of our nation. For the Tsar and for Bulgaria. Um, it's not for the Tsar, thank you very much, because if we're having a look, it's actually Marie the First that is our... Um, Sir, I'm guessing it's Serena. Sar, Serena, is it Serena? Lai Zongren assumes office. Holy crap. That is Serena. Why, why, why is all, do you usually pop up? President Chen. We do have President Lai destroy the cults. Rid China of corruption. And then we've got the Fourth Republic. <laughs> the Purge, yep. Me and the communists. My decisions have been unlocked. Three principles. Chinese martial law. Okay. Yeah, 26 days we'll have supports. Nice. And in 40 days we'll also have the new government. The Japanese emperor has just been executed. The Moscow Red Army has won there. Surely we're going to get some industry stuff. Oh, minus 15 on the construction speed. I forgot about that. 
Well, it's actually minus 25, but... Oh, mediocre figurehead. Plus five. I forgot I could look at that. I can also open the unit. Who the hell? Republic of Canada. Am I in here? I am not. There's nothing pending anyways. So can I look at everyone else like that? Or is it just me? What, what's your monarch doing? <laughs> it's not a monarch actually, it's the, the German advisor guy. Uh, ah, there's my artillery type, plus 20. That is what we're wanting. Lethal chemicals. Doesn't seem like a very democratic thing to be doing, and Turkey is losing to Italy right now. Can the Italians come after me since I'm not fascist? Because that would be a bit awkward, would it not? Let's get construction too. Legionary coup in Romania. Not, not ideal. Not ideal. But I think we could take them. We have time anyways, we need more factories first. I bet you Benat actually has a bigger military industry than me. It's embarrassing ours is. Would we have three factories? Oh no, they have all the same. Right, today's a special day in Bulgarian uh, history. The first democratic election since early 40s with the removal of Rukov and the UBNF. The people gained back their right to vote. People all over Bulgaria flocked to their polling stations to cast their votes in favour of one of the highest level parties. Now it's time to see who won the election and what will happen to Bulgaria in the future. Yeah, I'm not going with socialism. I'm going to go with the conservatives. The Agarian, Agarian Union. Konstantin Muravev. And it doesn't open anything new up for us, really? Really? Government policies are here. Functional democracy meet with the unions. So we literally get nothing else after the election. Wow. Um, opens military improvement trees. So how the hell do we get rid of the crisis? Yeah, how do we get rid of the crisis of 52 then? Seems a bit crap, right? Looking outwards, it's pointless. This is only the exports. Wow. Okay, I'm kind of disappointed by that. I don't know if I really want to continue this. We've, we've restored democracy. Don't know how they got rid of the crisis. Defense. Because this this is all doesn't really do much. Change trade law to limit exports. Begins railway. Can't do that because we can't. Um, <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to invade anybody. So open the military improvement trees. Yeah, okay. I, I might actually just leave that there. I don't think there's anything else we can really do. Probably should have been fascist. <laughs> or stuck with the fascists. I won't be able to change this now. Oh, no, I can. I guess I'll build some new railways. It's gonna take 200 days just to build some railways. Everyone stay at one infrastructure. Well, I guess it's okay. But yeah, guys, I think I'm just gonna leave that there. We restored democracy. The conservatives are now in power. I thought maybe it was gonna open up something else for us, but that, that is that is the democratic tree. So I'm a little disappointed. 
I thought there was going to be maybe some options. I know it's not very democratic, but at least take out our other claims. Or maybe intervene against you, because National Socialists are right there. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back with something new very soon. Until then, take care. Cheer bye. Then out.